Hello, I'm Dave Jones, the jazz writer for Pianist Magazine. I'm going to play the examples now for lesson three in the Learning Jazz Piano series. And um, it's good to be here again at Fieldgate Studios in Penarth to play their rather fine Fazioli grand piano. Example 1A. The first eight bars of the chord sequence for Autumn Leaves in G minor with two-handed chords. Example 1b, uh, again the first eight bars of the autumn leaf sequence in G minor, but this time with five note chords, um, just making the chords richer with the addition of ninths uh, and some altered notes as well. Example 1C, uh, left hand rootless voicings, again for the first eight bars of Autumn Leaves, and this is our basis um, for improvising then afterwards in the right hand. I should mention at this point that it's a good idea um, sometimes or even often to um, play uh, some of the chords in a different position rhythmically. So uh, for instance, some chords might come on the beat as written, some might come slightly early at the end of the previous bar, and some might come slightly late after the start of a bar. And this just increases the, the interest really in, in the chords. And um, it also affects other things being, play, being played around it and fits in more with the, the whole concept of playing in swing time. One, two, three, four. Example 2A, uh, possible right-hand improvised phrases using major and natural minor scales. One, two, three, four. Example 2B, possible right-hand improvised phrases using major and minor pentatonic scales. One, two, three, four. Example 2C. Uh, this one uses the harmonic minor scale over the minor 251. One, two, three, four. Example three, uh, chord voicings for the third set of eight bars of the Autumn Leaves chord sequence. And I'll play these again um, as if in swing rhythm. Example four. Chord voicings for the fourth and final set of eight bars of the autumn leaf sequence. And again, I'll use the um, swing idea of 
placing the chords on uh, on the beat early and sometimes late. One, two, three. That's all the examples for lesson three. Next time in lesson four, we'll be looking at how to harmonize the melodies uh, from standard tunes, such as Autumn Leaves and uh, All the Things You Are. And then we can piece together complete jazz interpretations of some of these tunes.